So, the last video didn't come out the best. Oh, uh, so I'm going to basically recover the same concepts as before, except I'm going to do it a bit better. So, uh, desktop mode, it's a cool feature that the Steam Deck has. So, we'll just kind of switch around into it. Okay. I've got to switch SD cards because I've got pictures on the certain SD card. Okay. So desktop mode on the Steam Deck is actually pretty useful. And some people may be wondering, well, I heard it's Linux and blah, blah, blah. And you can do like this, that, or the other. And yeah. So where you can see the like... I've got different colors, different background than what's standard. So kind of the first thing, probably the one that a lot of people will go for first is changing the desktop and wallpaper. So I've actually set up a, what is it? I've actually got a new, a bunch of wallpapers that I wanted to use. Where'd my SD card go? right there. So I've got a bunch of wallpapers that I've wanted to use for my stuff to cycle through. So that's basically what I'm going to use in this example, unlike the Half-Life Blue Shift that I have currently set up as my wallpaper. Let me find, not search, I want pictures, then we drag it over and we move here. So it's going to move that over real quick. So you can put whatever wallpapers you want on an SD card, or you can download them straight through the browser. So I've got LibreWolf here. You could go through and search for your wallpapers, and it works just fine that way. So what we do then is if... So you've got a couple different ways that you can go into settings. You've got the system settings, which is kind of docked here. And you've got your appearance that you can bring up. Um, we'll go over that other stuff in a second. So easiest way is configure desktop and wallpapers. So it's probably because it's a different thing. So you can see this is the one I've added. Then they've got some default like... So a lot of these first backgrounds are basically default to come prepackaged with like KDE Plasma. So for those that may be like, oh, that's really cool. Yeah. So various Linux desktop environments have like prepackaged themes that they, or wallpapers that they put in. So you can have some wallpapers there already. And then we start getting into the Steam Deck logo stuff. And this is, these are the ones that Valve has added that you can use, and then a couple others otherwise. And then their troll background as well. So if, if you really feel like messing with people, you can, uh, where is it, icons. And you can just turn the icons off. You can turn the icons off somehow. <laughs> But what we're going to do is we are going to change ours to a slideshow. We're going to go add folder, go to pictures, and we'll select our wallpapers folder. We're going to remove that, and so I've got a collection of wallpapers that I've got on my daily driver computer. Otherwise, that it cycles through with Fe, and what this will let me do is actually set it up so that it'll cycle through all the wallpapers as we go on the desktop. So I can set it to be every 10 minutes, just like on my awesome rice well just like i have fed doing on a cron job every 10 minutes 
then I can apply that and it will do it. And so it'll cycle through the wallpapers and yeah. So that that's pretty much the same as most anybody's going to do. So the other thing that you can do here is change the UI theme. So Windows 11 has their like nice dark mode and things like that. And it's like, okay, that's cool, whatever. So by default, you're going to, when you get your Steam Deck, you're going to have it set up in, oh, Vapor as the theme, I believe, if I remember correctly, is the default one. And so they've got these default ones that you have here. You can go and get some new global themes, like from, they're provided from the KDE repositories of themes and browse through those. So they've even got your Windows Vista one. So they've got various dark mode ones. I've always had dark mode for like the last decade. But Valve has also packaged in this nice classic Half-Life 2 theme as well. So you can go in here and you've got different styles. So it'll change the appearance of the buttons. And you've got your classic MS9X whatever theme. So this lets you like fine tune the appearance of your desktop. So you could go through here and change what your desktop widgets might look like. Um, we're going to keep it on breeze because it actually adapts to it. But this again, default one, if you really are inclined to kind of like having the view here. Oh, so like I had mentioned in the other video that kind of like came out kind of botched, they have the cool oh progress bar thing, just like in the classic source UI. Then you've got your UI theming, and then your window decorations, which determines kind of what this top bar looks like. So we could go to breeze and apply that, and it would change it accordingly. If we picked oxygen, it would change that too. So you would have different ones. And then we'll just... I don't know why the bar is tweaking out. But again, fonts, I think you know what that does. Then you've got your different icons. We can go and get new icons. Again, same deal. Most of these screens have like buttons that you can click to change the icons or get new icons. Um, boop, boop, boop. So now we've got a classic XP looking icon set. So if we go into our file browser, we may need to reset or restart the desktop mode, but you know, what else? So we can even change our cursor. Again, it comes with some default ones. I think I want to go with oxygen yellow maybe. Or wait, no, we can go with the Steam one. Keep it consistent across the board. Let's see, that's our launch. Font manager, and then splash it screen. So this will basically start pop up, like if you were logging in from a regular window, it would load this up. But yeah, that's basically modifying your system desktop kind of more in depth than I did last time. Oh. Uh, for desktop mode so that you can enjoy oh have a more personalized experience on desktop mode while you're working with different applications and just a reminder um, general conferences this weekend for my non latter-day saint friends it's kind of when we hear from church leaders and whatnot and they're I am looking forward to the memes. We will be doing a general conference meme review on Monday. And I will be trying to gather those over the weekend. So anybody that is so inclined in watching general conference. Oh, 
I look forward to the memes that come out. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Algorithm really seems to like that, and it actually helps it get directly out to more people. And you can even join the chat and interact when I'm not online or what have you in Discord, Gilded, XMPP, and check out my my streaming stuff. Links are all in the description places, and I will see you guys later.